I invite you to show your happiness for the new graduates and all the recipients of special awards with a big round of applause. I invite Ms. Concilia Schulz Menda to give the valedictory speech on behalf of the graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, please make her welcome. Chair of the University Council, Archbishop Dr. Douglas Young. Members of the University Council, Minister for Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, Honorable Mr. Wesley Romini, President of Divine Word University, Prof. Philip Gibbs, distinguished guests, fellow graduates, parents and guardians, friends, ladies and gentlemen. I am absolutely honored to be given this opportunity as the valedictorian for the class of 2021. Some of us started in year 2016, many in 2017, 2018, and of all the years, a global pandemic decided that 2020 was the best time to share our timeline. For our MBBS batch, we got notice last year when the state of emergency was declared, that the year was going to be canceled and there was no other way but to withdraw. We were already filling up the clearance forms, few even left for home, when suddenly there was a ray of sunshine and everyone were called back to resume academic year. By the grace of God, we were allowed to return to continue the rest of the year or we would not have been seated amongst you today on this day. So before I proceed any further, I'd like to acknowledge our Heavenly Father, who is the essence of our very existence. Today, we give all glory, honor, and praise back to God. Our journey didn't start when we stepped into our first formal classrooms. Our journey began when our founding fathers decided it was time that we became a nation of our own. When asked about the future of this country, late great grand chief proudly proclaimed that the women of this country be will bear us our accountants, lawyers, engineers, scientists, and doctors. Today, we pay homage to our founding fathers and especially late great grand chief Sir Michael Thomas Somare that after almost 46 years of independence, Divine Word is contributing to the vision, graduating accountants, business managers, programmers, and IT specialists, diplomats, human resource managers, journalists, environmental scientists, rehabilitation specialists, health extension officers, health managers, educators, doctors, and many more. We are a generation of force not to be reckoned with. We just need to learn to truly work together. We are seated here representing tribes and clans who at one time in our history decided to put down their bows and arrows and pick up a pencil. Today is not only about us. It is a day we celebrate those who stood by us through trying times. I am honored to be here representing our class of 2021 to sincerely thank all who have sacrificed everything to make today possible. To our lecturers, thank you for being patient with us, letting some of us slip through those due dates. It kind of gave us or bought some time for us so that we can change just that one sentence so that it would not pair up with the plagiarism rate in 2018. To our support staff, from student service all the way to the rangers, thank you very much. I wanted to specifically mention the mess staff because We've whined about them so much, about the car bomb chicken. But we were diligently fed every single day. To, every, to each and every member of the Divine Word University community for one way or another contributing to see us through the four to five years of being here, thank you very much. <clears throat> to the most important circle, 
sponsors, parents, guardians, spouses, partners, and all those who have dug deeper into your pockets to meet our tuition fees every year. From the bottom of our hearts, we say thank you very much. We also like to dedicate today to all the loved ones that we've lost along the way. They would have been absolutely proud seeing you today in your gowns. Resilience is the word that comes to mind when I think of our batch. I cannot stress enough how important this day is. Besides graduating a batch competing with a global pandemic, we are finally reaping a seed of hope sowed approximately 10 years ago when Divine Word University decided it was time to close the gap on doctor-patient ratio and invest in educating medical doctors. I take this time to commend my fellow resident medical officers. You were brave to be guinea pigs in this pioneering program. You have all done us proud. Congratulations. And to the rest of my fellow graduates, you deserve every ounce of celebration. From those rural most parts of the country, schools were miles away, but your feet was the only mode of transport. You did it. To those who had to wait or skip few years so your siblings went ahead with education, you are, you are phenomenal. To those who squeezed assignment time, but still get that but still get that four to eight job done so family is fed, I admire your strength. And to everyone else, no one will truly understand the magnitude of struggle you have had to overcome to come out triumph today. Congratulations, everyone. As we depart this great institution as alumni, let us take with us the core values which has always been the driving success of those before us who have gone ahead to set very high standards of work ethics. Pasin Diwai, I believe, is built on these Divine Word University virtues and values. Let's uphold them. Life from here on is not a walk in the park. To those who have secured jobs, you've earned it. Hold on to it and keep pushing the boundaries. For those of us who are still waiting, waiting to hear back from the hundreds of applications sent, whatever you do, rest if you must, but do not quit. Be proactive in securing job experience, even if it means that you, you, do, that vol, you do that on a volunteering basis, knock on doors and ask to sweep the floor. You never know where that's going to take you. If you are not comfortable where you are, maybe because it's your second choice, you have the ability to change that. Go apply for that second degree if you must. Do not settle. And finally, do not be afraid to get your hands dirty. Those who will mock your choices of making a living will never put food on your table. Never. With that, on a more personal level, I'd like to thank my parents, my families, for the continuing support and for allowing me to take up a second degree, actually third, to my lecturers, Professor Kuzma, Dr. Aigilang, Dr. Gert, who has already returned to the Netherlands, Dr. Gena, Dr. Kobu, Dr. Manineng, Lulu, the team of Federico II University staff of Italy, Poznan University staff of Poland, who have all helped to kickstart this program, and the rest of the MBBS teaching staff. Thank you so very much. Last but not the least, to everyone that has contributed one way or another to make this day a successful one. From the decorating team to the media team, to all those who have volunteered, working tirelessly behind the scene, on behalf of the 2021 graduating class, we raise our glasses to you. Once again, to my fellow graduates, we met as strangers in the beginning, and here we will depart as families. Celebrate responsibly, Thank you, Ms. Concilia Schulz Menda. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of the 39th graduation ceremony of Divine Word University. <laughs>